Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, March 4th. No. <laughs> I don't even know the date. Guys, I never know the date. This just shows you that I don't care about specific dates. I just care about like lengths of time. <laughs> what is today's date? Do I have my phone? Oh crap. Please tell me. Please tell me I didn't forget my phone. We're gonna find out right now. Yep, I forgot it. Luckily, I only live five minutes from school. Not even, two minutes. probably wondering why I'm wearing this elephant costume. I will explain when I get to school. <laughs> Got my phone. Let's roll. All right, you guys, so I made it to school. I have my phone and I am in full spirit week mode. Last week we had a spirit week too, but the days were kinda lame, if you ask me. This week's spirit week is junior student council student week. Last year, I was the student council, the junior student council advisor, and let me tell you, those kids got like the bad end of the stick. They literally got nothing to do. It was awful, it was sad, and so this year, I'm glad that the junior student council is actually getting to do something, including planning a spirit week. So today is dressed like your favorite storybook character day, and so Cash and I are gonna be Elephant and Piggy. He has the Piggy costume, he's just obviously not here. Um, to show you um, but anyway I just got to school and I do have bus duty this morning and I have nothing ready for the day but luckily I am um, jumping over to teaching about the Aztecs today and um, all of my grades are pretty much finalized all of my grades are pretty much finalized and entered there are a couple that I have to um, fiddle with and something that I wanted to share with you guys and I'm not trying to like diss my school or my district or anything like that But we have this grading policy that requires us to bump up all zeros to at least a 30% and It just It really bothers me because I think that if a child Doesn't do the work doesn't turn it in or literally gets a zero They should be able to hold that zero and it should hold them accountable but um, there are students in this in this school that get to just be passed right along because of the grading policy and I just don't agree with it. Um, unfortunately, it's not really my choice. I do have to round every zero up to a 30%. And then I also have some kids that are SPED kids who deliberately don't do the work even though they're more than capable and I have to give them a 60%, which I don't think is fair to the other SPED kids who are much lower that do the work and put in the effort and they might not score as high as that and I I just feel like it's not fair. I have a, I have a couple of SPED students that are more behavioral and they don't turn in anything and yet they get a 60 but when my other SPED kids turn everything in, they put forth effort, they may get lower than a 60 but they do everything, they participate and it's just really sucky. So I do have to go through my grade book today and just round up all my zeros um, before posting them today at one o'clock. Everything that the kids are going to be doing this week will go on the first week's um, grades for next quarter. So I, I try not to be like that, oh, there's only a week left of school and the grading period's over. So we just, we don't have to do anything. No, everything that they do this week will apply to the first uh, the last quarter's report card. So anyway, that's that. Um, I need to drink my coffee and I need to put up my slides for the day, um, which is really simple. I just have to 
I just have to make my agenda, which I think I'm gonna do first because I actually have to have that ready for when kids walk in. And then I can work on grades throughout the day because like I said, they're not due until um, one o'clock. Also, I just put on some glue on nails last night. These are from Kiss. Um, I get them just at Target. I really like glue on nails when I'm kind of like in the mood to be fancy, but I don't want to go to the salon and spend like $40 on a manicure. I can make a pedicure last me like a whole month, but a manicure is just expensive and I don't really want to spend that money right now. So, Does anyone else have a major chip problem? I think so. All right, you guys, so it is now my prep period and I'm sitting down to have my first meal of the day. So I'm eating some of these quinoa and black bean tortilla chips as my carb this morning. And then I'm gonna have some cheese and cucumbers for my veggie and my protein. And then I'm gonna snack on some strawberries I also have some pickles in there that I like to snack on throughout the day if I'm like super hungry. Good morning friends, happy Tuesday. What's our spirit day today? Don't stick your tongue out, that's rude. Say it's tacky tourist day. Okay, so I'm wearing a jacket because it's a little cold, but I'm wearing a uh, floral t-shirt, some adventure green khaki stuff. What'd you have? What is it? A candy and a fanny pack. So that's what we're wearing. Oh, I've got a hat back here. So this morning is an already crazy day. I have bus duty in about 15 minutes and I had to get all of the Glee Club shirts out of um, from my tables yesterday. We made Glee Club shirts because our district and the people that are in charge of chartering clubs really have taken their time um, approving all of my stuff for my Glee Club and um, I wasn't able to order the kids shirts in time for the school year so luckily I think the next school year I will have everything approved and I'll be able to collect funds and order t-shirts like ahead of time like at the beginning beginning of the year instead of having to make them so I found this really cool video um, I was actually watching it last night while I was playing The Sims and it's really cool. It like talks about um, how the Aztecs came to be and there's like this big story behind, um, let's see what it's called, engineering and empire. It's called engineering and empire and it's about the Aztecs. And it's really interesting because, just come sit back here by your lunchbox, okay honey? Okay, so the video is called Engineering and Empire, the Aztecs, Season 1, Episode 3, and it's from the History Channel. So if you guys are interested, it's like 40 minutes long. Obviously, I'm not going to make the kids watch the entire thing, but there are a couple of really cool parts that I want them to see. And so we'll be watching that in class today, if we have time. I like to use a lot of videos when I do history because, especially if I use like the History Channel, um, because the videos are always so much more engaging. The kids get to see like visuals, they get to see like um, a lot of like portrayed actors doing things that they probably wouldn't have seen before. Um, so I really like using videos when teaching history. I just think that it's, you know. Hey you guys, happy Wednesday. So it is after school and um, I'm doing something a little bit crazy. I'm getting ready to move my whole teacher self to the front of my room. I'm trying this out because I'm gonna be moving into Mandy's classroom next year and I really wanna have myself at the front of the room um, so that I don't have to keep carrying my computer to and from, from the back to the front. And I'd also like to utilize the back of the room more as like a space for um, like student work um, and stuff so I can spread my tables out a little bit more and so I'm gonna just move my desk and the thing behind my desk up front today um, since I have a little bit of time I do have a training in about 25 minutes and so I'm gonna try and move everything just this way because right now 
it's here and I want to move it here because I want to test it out and see if I like it so that next year when I'm in Mandy's room I can just put it there to begin with and call it a day. Okay, you guys, so I did move a bunch of stuff around and I'm gonna show you tomorrow because I wanna get out of here. Cash and I have to go to Walmart and get hot chocolate. Why do you need a hot chocolate? Because we're gonna have hot chocolate tomorrow. So we're gonna go do that and then I will show you guys tomorrow what I've done to my classroom. It's a hot mess and I hate it. I love the front of my classroom, but I'm hating the back and I will explain why tomorrow. Okay, Mommy. bye. All right, you guys, so it is my official lunch break and I wanted to finally show you the room. Oh, by the way, it's Thursday. <laughs> um, and I wanted to show you guys all the work that I've done in here. Um, so just keep in mind before I show you that I do, I am moving classrooms at the end of the school year. And so the setup that I have right now is really just to get us through the remainder of the school year. We have been asked by our administrators to take down all and every sign that has words on it, any words at all, or cover it up. And since I'm moving classrooms anyway, I decided to just take everything down rather than just cover it because I'm gonna have to take it down in three months. Yeah, about three months, basically two and a half months, I'm gonna have to take it down. So I did decide to take a lot of stuff down and I do have some more stuff to take down, but I'm just gonna show you where I've put everything for right now. Um, and none of this is, except for maybe the front of the room, is going to be the same next year. Like everything will be set up and look really nice next year and be organized. But for right now, I just kind of have like the whole perimeter of the room kind of like crammed with everything so that at the last week of school, the eighth graders can help me move my room by literally just moving a table with stuff on it. And it's already pre-stacked and packed and ready to go. So... Um, I'm going to show you guys the front of the room first because it is something that I'm thinking about keeping next year, and I'll tell you why. So I have the front of my room set up like this. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have this exact same setup next year. I do really like the desk and the table combined for many reasons. First reason is, no, I do not teach from my desk. So when I'm actually teaching a lesson, I do move around the room a lot. I have my mouse with me, so like my little remote control mouse there. I take that around with me, or I will like grab my laptop and fold it and use it as a tablet. And so for the majority of when I'm teaching, I'm not at my desk. However, there are times where I have to stand behind a desk. I used to stand behind that desk right there because I have to do demonstrations or model things or have things set up for kids to see. And so that's what I love about having this table connected to my desk. Now I might raise it up next year um, so it's a little bit taller, but it's also my small group table. So when I'm not doing a demonstration, I can pull small groups right here. I can also pull up kids who are having a hard time paying attention. I can have a group working up here. And I've got all of my small group stuff for when I pull math groups for my math teacher. It's all right here behind me. So when it's time, I can move whatever's on this table to that one and that table to this one. And um, so I really like that. Um, and then I just pretty much moved everything that was in and around my desk just over here. So I have all of my stuff back there and then my table here. 
and I've got my screens here, which I really like because now if I am going to have my computer plugged in, I can have like Dojo on this screen, my email on that screen or like something I'm looking at. Maybe it's music, maybe it's, you know, a piece of the lesson or an answer key or something. We've always got something kind of pulled up and then it's connected to the TV. So I have three screens at all times. So if I do need to come up here for any reason during a lesson, I can. And it's it's all right here. I don't have to move my computer anymore. Um, so I really like that. And then I put these guys here on the side of the desk. These are just things I reach for like IEPs, um, weekly schedules, things like that. And then I kind of decorated the front with like all the pictures that would go behind me and like the date and stuff. So that's all right there. And I really like that. I don't really use the board for any other purpose other than writing the learning target and like drawing a quick drawing. I do use this side of the wall, um, which you can see there's like some vocab and stuff. Um, but really I don't use the whiteboard too, too often. So it's really not needed. Um, but yeah, so that's the front of the room. And then over here, I just kind of like pushed everything up against walls so that I had more space in the middle. I do plan on doing a totally different layout next year. Like I said, I think I'm going to um, leave this there for now, though, because it's out of the way. So I just have all of my kids science notebooks here and then just more storage. This didn't change at all. I just took my classroom library over here underneath my science is magic but real. And then it's just going to continue going. Like I said, the perimeter is kind of just everything's against the wall so that it's out of the way and ready to be moved. So I just have like my little benches. Um, this is all my STEM bins for when I do like indoor recess or STEM center day. Um, I actually ordered a second one of these racks for next year. I plan on putting all of my like science lab supplies on it. I have a bunch of these um, black large book bins that I have STEM supplies in, or I guess lab supplies like paper plates, plastic cups, string. Um, so I got another one of these to put all of that stuff on and that way it'll clear up a lot of counter space. And then I moved my flexi spot rising table back here. I figured this could be a good spot for a group to work. I can move the bench and it can rise and fall. So either I can put a kid back here you know, if they need a break, or um, I can also have my student aid use this table for all the stuff they're working on. So I can have things laid out and ready for her when she comes in. She'll know exactly what to do and she can work right there. And then right here, I have my little mini kitchen. <coughs> so my fridge, trash can, water bottles, ice machine. You guys can <coughs> see everything that's there. Today we're making Mayan hot chocolate. That's what that is. <laughs> um, and then the computer cart, obviously. And then over here, I started taking everything down because like I said, I do have to remove everything that has words off of the walls. And so I decided to just kind of pack some things up like all my little like decorations are in a box. I've got all of my posters. I just folded up a box like this and I put them in there. And I think I'm going to keep this box for posters and then I can store it, you know, behind this desk. Um, <clears throat> and then under here, I have a lot of storage. I keep a lot of stuff under there. Um, in fact, that box will probably go under there for the time being. And then I need to dust my rug out. This is all the paper I would have used to cover up my walls. So now I don't have to use that. I just have to keep taking down a few things and I'm done. And then that hasn't changed. And then I had moved my rats over here by the door. This isn't where they're going to go in my next classroom. I just, I'm trying to utilize this space to just get us through the end of the year. I'm going to have my student aide put everything that's in these table tubs back in my supply box because the kids are having a hard time with distraction with these supply bins out. So next year I plan on doing something a little bit different. I'm thinking I might find some Tupperware bins kind of like those ones over there and have everything in them with a lid and then label them by table so that when it's time I can say, okay, go, go get your table, your table tub. And then, you know, a student can go back and get it and then put it back by the time they leave. So, um, and then I do have an island desk right here. I do have a couple of students that need to be um, sitting alone. And so this is better than it was back here with my small group table. But this is actually better because they can see better. Um, there's not as much distraction. So I can actually put any kid here if they need to isolate for a minute. And I might actually have these 
people that sit here, I might have them sit up front so that way they're always near me but they're still alone and that way I can really monitor what they're doing at all times. And then, like I said, everything's kind of just everywhere right now. Um, I still have my lab cart. It's actually set up for a lab the first day back from spring break. And then these are all of the supplies that I have for, like, labs. So, like I mentioned before, I would like to organize these and then put those on that new metal cart and um, store it all that way. So I'm going through all of my closet and my cabinets and kind of getting rid of some things giving some math manipulatives away because I really don't use them I might keep like one box of them in case I do a small group and then kind of ditch the rest so anyway that is the change I have to take this all down and this all down I will have my student aid pull all of that down but yeah this is kind of and then the tables are really nice I like them connected like this where they're like in rows of two. I think that that's like the most space effective way to organize them. Um, it does create more talking, but I feel like at this point, like they're going to talk no matter what, no matter where I have them. So I might as well make the space easier. Um, and then there's plenty of room in between the aisles. It's really nice. So, so yeah, so that is the changes that I have done to my classroom. Um, I'm going to go, though, and eat some lunch, and then I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Hey, you guys. So it is Friday, and it is right after 3 o'clock. I'm getting ready to go home for spring break. Um, we went on a field trip today to the Arizona Science Center, and it was super fun. It went off without a hitch. We didn't have any behavior issues. We didn't have any, like... No one got hurt, no one got lost, nothing. Like it all went perfectly fine. So just wanted to check in with you guys and end the vlog here. I am exhausted and I'm gonna go home and enjoy my very hard earned spring break. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.